Oh heck guys, what's up? This is Heck and Germ and welcome to Goodbye Doggy. Um, now this is a game about a family that has just lost their puppy, which is always sad. I think most of us have dealt with something like that. An undying sense of loyalty has pulled your spirit from the chasm of death. Chasm of death. No, sad. Don't worry, I'll come. I'll come help. This person's much too de dehydrated from crying in order to continue baking. Oh, oh look at this nice little warm fire. Oh, hello. This person, this person threw their duster onto the bed. They've completely given up on the chores for the day. Got a bottle of pills. Past the quiet sobbing, you can hear their stomach mildly rumbling. We'll look around. For so, this game is about a little puppy coming back from as a ghost to help his uh, his poor mourning family, which is sweet and awesome and so sad at the same time. Let's see. What's this? Is this water? Well, I'm not giving you some pills. The sad baker notices the water bottle and hydrates properly. Their newfound energy allows them to finish baking a beautiful loaf of whole grain bread. Uh-oh. The little kid's hungry. They accept the bread, never questioning its previous whereabouts. Scarfing the slice down, you can see them calm down a little bit. Oh, poor little guy. What do you mean? Perhaps cleaning the attic for them will help. You got it, dude. I'm gonna be right back. Hold on, hold on. Get, this working man's gonna get this. Uh, gosh. The attic is totally cleaned, and you found your old ball. Yes. It looks like a Dragon Ball Z ball. Okay. They clutch an empty stomach, too vulnerable to face their family downstairs, and too hungry to move. Oh, this is sad. I'll come back to you, ball. I love you, but I got I got work to do. I'll be back. Uh, let's see. So I'll give you another loaf. The plain bread proves to be undesirably soft for them. If only you could toast it. No, is that a sink? Oh, what? <laughs> licking the dishes. Though taste means nothing to your ghostly, pallid tongue, licking the dishes reminds you of the delicious food you ate in life. Seems sweet. The plain bread proves to be undesirably soft for them. If only you could toast it. Right, I just did that. Can I? Oh! Shit, I just dropped it. The warm fireplace singes your Miliquit. Miliquit's toast snack? So I guess it's toasted now? I don't know what that word is. Vanished hands grab the toast, its savory scent wafting through the bedroom air for a moment. Are you naked? Staring at the wardrobe, a worried look crosses their face. They may need help choosing. Yes. <laughs> oh, definitely that. Fancy frog hat wipes away the blues, even if temporary. Oh. They look relatively peppy in their new outfit. Nothing but that frog hat. Perfect. What's up, buddy? They look longingly at the unfinished homework on their desk. A myriad of... Wait, a myri myriad of complex arithmetic problems. <laughs> oh, yeah. Heckin' Doggo is about to do some maths. Let's see. 2 times 8 is 16. 16. Six, six, oh, yes. yes. 12 by 3? 12 by 3? No. <laughs> Nine by six? Yes. Seven plus eleven? Question mark? Yes. <laughs> Through sheer willpower, the homework has been flawlessly completed. Good job, you doodle, little doodle boy. To my cute little doggy. Slightly mystified, they accept the completed homework without question. Who's gonna? What kind of teacher is gonna make the, this kid bring homework in the day after their dog dies? My teacher did that. Pissed. 
debris from chores they've picked up a crossword to relax. However, its difficulty only proves them more anxiety. Can I do it for you? Heck and dog is good at these. They want dog. Skin. Or Bork. Bork. <laughs> there you go, Bork Bork. Your crossword answer strikes them like an epiphany. Each letter a stark reminder of death's finality and life's fleeting moments. Aww. That's so sad. Ooh. They're looking relatively peppy in their new outfit. Yes. Watery eyes tell the story of a person filled with regret. Perhaps a reminder of better times would help. The, the, the ball! I get my ball! Hey, hey, um, hey, um, human. I, I brought my ball. I'm not sure if you want to play with this, but, um, um, here you go. They hold the ball tenderly. I'm about to cry. They hold the ball tenderly. Memories of warm summer days softening their expression. Tears. Their face. While you can see the grief of their family, you know deep down that they'll be okay. Free me from your burden, you can now ascend to your final resting place. Go up. No, I don't want to go yet. Hekandago says more work to do. Give me this. I'm taking the Swiffer with me. You, take, you keep Frog Hat, I'm taking Swiffer. Or do I want Toast for Heaven? Shit. That's, that's the life of this. I'm taking Toast. Toast for Heaven. Give me the Toast. I'm taking a snack from the road, guys. It's been nice. Don't miss me too much. Oh, this is so sad. Alright. Bye. Oh, he's pulled it. Oh, yes! Oh, that is so sweet. Made for Global Game Jam 2019. Game by Picogram, music by Graham Nesbitt. Oh, dedica dedicated to my grandma, grandpa, and dog. That's sweet. Thank you for playing. All right, guys. Well, that was Goodbye Doggo. Um, like I said, I'll leave the link in the description below. Really sweet game. Really cute. I almost did start crying there for a second, um, thinking about stuff, but. Anyways, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like these kind of games, I'll, I'll try to find more of them. Really sweet, though. You really should check it out on your own. Uh, leave me a like if you liked it. Give that uh, subscribe button a little tickle. Ring the bell. And um, remember to keep doing your heckin' best. I'll see you all next time. Bye! Alright, poor girl man. Time to say goodbye. Bet you spent many a snoozes sitting under the fire. Ooh.